Hey guys, in today's video, I wanted to cover all of the options we have for fades. There are so many different ways to fade in Logic, and that's what's wonderful about it, depending on what you want to achieve. So you could want to just fade a single piece of audio. Uh, you might want to fade a single region of MIDI. You might want to fade out the whole song. So we're going to cover all of those options very quickly now in this video. Let's dive in. Okay, so first of all, uh, let's jump to the big boy. Okay, let's jump to fading out the whole song, uh, which, you know, you know, you, you're at that point where you're like, this song is awesome. Uh, I just can't think of a way to end it. So we've got a little uh, synthwave bit here. Awesome. Yeah, let's say I don't want to uh, have this ending, which I have at the moment, which is just like this. I said I didn't want that ending, but I wanted to fade out, you know, classic sort of 80s pop. Okay, so we're going to go um, mix, create track automation, create volume fade out on main output. Ta-da! And there it is. And what it's done is it's created this lovely little fade out uh, up to the very end here. So there we go. That's where it's, so it's gone. That's your last region. So, but what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to move that fade because it's already highlighted um, uh, so that it fades out here. It's actually a five bar fade, I think. One, two, three, four bar fade. Okay, there we go. I was close. Um, so instead of it going on, we now have this. And that was Don't Miss Your Chance. Okay, there we go. Uh, so that is our fade out of our whole song. Okay, so now let's uh, dive into a little bit more detail. What if I wanted to fade out uh, a piece of audio? So let's say, for instance, this vocoder track. Awesome. <laughs> Love vocoders, obviously. Uh, so first things we need to do is we need to open up track automation. Uh, so I've got a little shortcut here that says, that I just press here, it's A, opens up automation. Um, now, it has the volume selected, which if it's not selected, you go down here and go into main and it chooses, you get to choose what type of automation you're doing. So this is my volume automation for the track. You see a little line. And if I click on this line, oh, hello, how are you doing? And I just drag that down and there is our fade out. So goodbye, lovely vocoder element there. So I'm going to undo that stuff. And I can do the same at the beginning. I can do a fade in, whoop, like this. There we go. And obviously, you can you can have a fade in like that, which is just a lovely, lovely steep line. Or you can open up your um, automation curve tool, which may, means that you can change the shape of the automation, which I generally use over and above creating lots of automation points like this. Okay, so let's say you didn't want to dive into the automation of the the, the uh, track itself. You wanted to just fade that particular region of audio. So I'm going to open up my fade tool there, which you can get to up here. Hello, fade tool, how are you? Uh, and then we drag it, and there we go. That's our fade for the audio region. Again, we do this, we can drag the, uh, we can change the shape of the automation, so it fades in quicker or it fades in slower, etc. Uh, and then you can do that for there, uh, for the end. You can also create your crossfades using this tool, which is uh, pretty neat. So if I just copied and pasted, oh, so frustrating. Copied and pasted that, and then used my fade tool. Ta-da! Now, what you'll notice here is the fade out is an equal power crossfade. I'm not a big fan. I like a traditional crossfade, please. Uh, and then you can change what type of crossfade it is um, and how it fades into the other region. Uh, now, and you're saying, okay, Rich, that's fair enough, but I don't really want to mess around with my audio. I'm a MIDI man. Um, that sounds like a superhero, doesn't it? So let's go into this classic analog bass line. Do, 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 do. So what do I want to do? I want to open up my track automation. And we can go up here. So I've opened up the automation and I can go into the volume of the track. Now, what you can do is, so it's the same as the audio. With any channel automation, you can 
put your node points in and then you can fade out like that. Uh, I'm just clicking on the line, guys. The other thing you can do is you can switch it to region automation. So actually, I'm changing the volume of just this region. So the track volume stays the same. It's very clever. There we go. Uh, so that is how you create your fades in Logic, guys. You can fade out your whole song. You can fade out audio. You can fade out your MIDI. It's so useful to be able to do this, especially the crossfades when you've got uh, dirty edges of audio or you're doing some really finite audio editing. Learning and using your crossfade tool is so useful. I hope you found this useful. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next week.